What is up everyone? Welcome to the video. It's your coach Jimmy G and here today we are doing part three of the standards benchmark series. Excuse me if I'm out of breath. I just got done with a run. First and foremost, thank you guys. Thank you, thank you guys. I'm so excited. The channel is growing. Um, so, and that couldn't be possible without the help and support and the views and your attention from you guys. Um, one of two things are either happening, either I'm crazy, right, and uh, my, my theories and my approach to fitness is a little woo woo, or we're all sharing the same passion for fitness. So I just wanted to thank you guys. You guys are super awesome. Um, but yeah, today we're gonna go over the ATG standards benchmark part three. And what we're doing is we're starting with hip flexion and then we're going into some ATG splits for perfect form. Um, followed up with the rest will be upper body. Uh, so enjoy the video. Like the video, comment, ask questions. You guys are awesome. I love you guys, man. Let's, let's go. Yo, what is up everyone? Welcome back to the video. First exercise up is the hip flexion. All we're doing here is we're driving the knee into our chest. I'm using a kettlebell as weight. Our goal is to get three sets of 20 on the left and on the right. Why are we doing this? Most of us are either sitting throughout the day, either at work, driving, eating lunch, and then when we're sleeping, our pelvis is tucked. So therefore our hip flexors are typically going to be weaker and also tighter than if they were to be stronger, right? Not necessarily everyone knows how to strengthen the hip flexor. I did it, and this is the first time I'm actually seeing an exercise that is going to strengthen it because I thought if we strengthen the hip flexor, we're going to be more restricted and um, that's not the case. We want to strengthen them and then we also want to lengthen them through stretching, MFR, myofascial release, recovery, ice baths. So strengthening them is necessary. Where uh, ATG comes into play, they like to do it every program for a 12 week span so that you're able to integrate those patterns rep after rep. And that's what I've been catching on to this whole uh, ATG coaching series that I went through. You have to put the time in, rep after rep. But anyways, let's move on. This is the hip flexors. All right, here we have the ATG split squats. I love these. These are one of my top favorite exercises I've learned while being in the ATG system is the ATG split squat. I love this right here. The knee drives past the toe. We're shortening the space between our gastroc, right, our calf and our hamstring while the other leg, our hips are squared off and we're lengthening that hip flexor. Lengthening the, the hip flexor while keeping an upright posture um, and moving intentionally, intentionally here. You might not see it, but I'm pulling through the ground with my toes. Um, so yeah, the ATG split squats and we aim for 10 reps on the left, 10 reps on the right, three sets. All right guys, so this should be interesting. Haven't done these before. The ATG 10 reps, full range of motion, dips and chin-ups. So I know dips will kill the dips. Chin-ups though, let's see it. All right, then we go into ATG dips and chins. <laughs> so all we're doing is a dip here. We're going for 10 reps, 10 perfect reps, um, all the way, full range of motion, really getting that anterior delt, elbows are tight. Um, tricep is also locked into the sides of, um, by my ribs, and I kind of slide them into my lats as well as I come down. Um, putting all that tension and emphasis on the tricep, squeeze, Squeeze the pinky, always squeeze the pinky when it comes down to any tricep movement. It's just gonna activate that lateral tip of the tricep right here, right on that tendon. It's just gonna engage it more. 10 reps, and then we superset that with the chin-ups.
Now we go into the chin-ups. Strong grip. I like to tilt my pelvis here to get a good stretch of the fascia. Pull all the way up. I try to get the chin, I think, I try to get the clavicle, I believe. The clavicle to the bar. I also do tend to focus on the a good stretch, dead hang position, instead of just banging them out. Full range of motion is the key here. Intentional is also another key factor. I want to feel every fiber when I pull and tug on that bar. I think I ended up getting eight reps, by the way, as well. And I went back on the bar for two more. But yeah, those were the chin, dips and shins. All right, ATG squat standard um, at 25% of your body weight. Uh, I ended up putting up 45 pounds, I believe. I think I was holding it here, like a little uh, little goblet squat. 20 perfect reps. I use, I didn't have my slant board because I didn't feel like carrying it. So what I used is elevation of a two 10 pound plates here. I'm pulling myself into my hamstrings. My knees are going out, really loading my glutes as well. I'm being very intentional on the uh, pressure that I'm putting in into the heels, midfoot heel, pushing off of that ground while still um, also engaging the VMOs, right? The teardrop muscle in front of your leg. Elbows cannot touch the knees. Chest upright, core is tight. You're breathing in, coming down nice and controlled. And then once you feel the bottom, I just engage and isolate for a half a, like a half a second and shoot right out of there using your stretch reflex. Everything intentional, everybody. Listen, everything is intentional. Every movement. I want you to feel every fiber, even in your arms. I know it's legs, but guess what? Arms as well. Um, that's what's going to take you to the next level of any exercise, any program you do is the intent behind what you do. Last but not least, the Romanian deadlift, 15 reps, 50% of your body weight. Straps will help take it take away from your hands, your grip, and put it more into your hammies and lats. But all we're doing is just hinging, loading the hamstrings, our foot angle, our toes pointing straight, three points of contact on uh, both feet where the pressure is going. Go as low as you can go without breaking and compensating form, chest is helping guide the weight up through your hinge. And that's it everybody, that concludes the standards benchmark part three of the series. I've enjoyed learning all these programs. I ended up canceling the ATG coaching for right now because I'm very busy on building a brand, a clothing brand of fitness apparel guys that I own, it's called the Lev Fitness. And I'm working on that while also doing my coaching and juggling. So it's a lot of things to maintain. Uh, I'll probably come back and dive into it again. The knowledge on it is, is definitely valuable. If you're thinking about jumping into it or learning for yourself and how you can apply that to giving value to others, I highly suggest it. I highly, highly suggest it. Definitely going to touch up on, I'm probably going to make more future content of uh, exercises that I loved from the program. Um, and just videos that tie into the ATG community. I think it's super cool what Ben Patrick is doing, being able to heal strength and tendons and all these testimonials of lives that he's changed. That is, that's what counts. That's what fulfills a human being is the, the sense of contribution, contributing to someone's life. But other than that, guys, thank you so much for following along on this video for part three. The channel is growing. It can't grow without you guys and the support. You guys are awesome. Thank you for the love. Any questions, feel free to, to ask. Ask away. And I will take care of you guys. Until the next video, peace.